In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a braid to line knot or a line to line knot. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Rob from Hook and Mount Tackle. This video is part of a series. Check the description down below for other links to all videos. Fishing. When I go really light, I love to use this knot because it means I don't have to use a swivel. When I'm fishing for brim or flathead, I like to use this knot, which means that I can get that extra casting distance because I don't have to worry about the swivel getting caught in, in the actual eye of the rod. And we're gonna start right now. All right, let's get started. So for today's demonstration, we're using builder's lines so that you can clearly see it uh, when we're actually tying the knots. So basically you line them up, um, as you can see here, and you choose whichever line you'd like to use first. So we're gonna say that the pink is the main line and uh, the yellow here will be your uh, leader. So what you wanna do is just make a, make a loop and pass it right over to here. So it'll look like this to start with. So essentially what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take this line here, the main line, and wrap it around and around about five times through this loop here. So there's no amount of times that you actually have to wrap it. I like to do five at a time, but it's really up to you. So essentially what you have now is four tab ends. Normally what you would do is you would lubricate this area here because we're obviously using builder's line, we're not gonna do that. But all you need to do from this point is pick your knot up again and then just basically pull, pull all four together and it starts to form the first knot, okay? pull them along until it tightens up, bunch it up a bit together. Now you first, you have your first knot. All right, so basically we're gonna do the same thing again, but this time we're gonna grab the leader and we're gonna make a loop and wrap that around, okay? So grab your leader, make your loop, and then start to wrap that around. And like we did before, we did five times, we're gonna do the same thing again. Okay, this time we're gonna come back up. I'm gonna go back through the loop we just made. Okay, there we go. Just pull that tight a little bit. So now essentially we're gonna have the same thing as what we did before. So now we're just gonna pull that tight on all four tabs. Start to form, form that knot. Remember you would lubricate it. So get that knot going. Okay, so just bunch it up a bit together. So it starts to look a bit neater. Okay, done. Now, so obviously there's a gap between the two. So what we wanna do is bridge that gap and push these two knots, uh, push these two knots together, okay? Okay, so we're now at the point where we just pull on the leader and the main line, and that will slide the knots together. Okay, and then pull it tight. And that's basically it. All right, we're just gonna uh, finish this off by cutting off the tab ends. There you have it. Anyway, YouTubers, if this video was actually interesting for you or you got something out of it, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our other videos that we're gonna do.